Okay, so welcome to my uh, effects, Premiere Effects assignment. I'm going to be brave and try to um, demonstrate how to make a poorly lit green screen uh, work for you. So you see my green screen here. The story behind this is last summer I had a rented a studio in Hollywood. I thought I was all set. I was going to do all sorts of green screen experimentation. Then somebody drove their truck through my studio, and this is the last night I had it. So I decided to make a green screen footage and just have some fun. But I've been having a tough time, as you'll see. So if you have green screen, you want to take the green out. You need to have a thing called Ultra Key. And that, I'll show you how to do that. You find Ultra Key in the effects. Here, I just typed in Ultra. And it'll give you a thing called Ultra Key. And you just drag that onto your clip. Now you go find your color picker and you pick the green. So you notice, okay, the green turns black and it should be transparent. Also, I have the, I'm going to uh, take that off right now to demonstrate to you guys. I also have to get rid of this stuff on the side. So the first thing I like to do is size things up a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to mask out this stuff on the side so it's just me and the green screen in. So let's uh, position it up a bit. I can get, I can get up a bit. All right. And I'll scale it up just a little bit. You can probably hear my cat meowing. She wants to get in, but she's going to have to wait. She doesn't know that I have a very important assignment due here. Okay. Now you make the masks. I go down here to the opacity and the effects control. You click the pen. And you make a mask by this. So I usually scroll through the um, the clip and see where I'm going to need to make the max mask. So it looks like I need to basically obviously get all the I can't have this stuff down here so I need to run along the bottom of the green screen. I should be using the bezier. That means you click and you drag. And I'll get up here. Obviously you know, it's got to be inside the green screen. And I noticed that on this side, I can basically, there's not much going on at all. Uh, I don't move that much, so I'll go down here and then I will. Okay, now you'll notice that all the stuff that was on the le right here and the left is masked out. It's gone. So now I only have the green screen to work with. So if I go back here to my Ultra Key, I drag that back on. To the clip. I take the color picker and let's put the background in there so I can show. You see all this stuff here, the shading and stuff like that? That's because if I take the ultra key out, the inconsistencies in the lighting of the green screen here, that is why that is happening. I also notice that I think I can get a little bit of this darker stuff off with my mask. Uh, especially if you can get some of the more the seriously uh, different lighting off with a mask, all the better. And there's this little black thing up here that I'm going to have to take off as well. So I'm going to, the, the whole golf swing might not make it in, but I'm not trying to win any Oscars here. So let's get to the real work. Uh, okay, you see, it's still kind of, uh, you know, there's a different tint to the grass here than here. And I could get away with it, but it's not quite good enough. So what I'm going to do, take the ultra key off. I'm going to make all these greens here a more consistent green by going up to the color editor here, the lumetri color, which we've been working with. We did, I think we did the basic correction and some curves probably. Now, but I go down here to HSL secondary and I start my set color. I start here and I pick a color, uh, green. So it's going to, oh yes, you have to have this on. Now this is going to tell you, this the green that you've already picked, it's, it'll be green. Now what you have to do is take the eyedropper with the plus sign and keep going and picking the green. There you go. Keep going and this will add it add those shades of green to the to what you're going to to 
you're going to make all these different shades of green that you're picking a consistent shade of green. And I will show you how to do that. Oh, this is looking good. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. One more a little bit down here. Huh. Tough guy right there, huh? Let's go. One more try with him. Can't get it. I'll just bypass him for now. I'll have, I'll live with that. So I could just take this here and move it down here and say make all those shades that I just selected this color. But you can get even more specific if you go to the three color wheels here. So I say I want all the shadows to be this color. Come on, guys. My mouse is slow today. Holy smoke. And I crank that all the way up. Now, you see how the green behind me behind, is getting a uniform color? I might have to go actually back and pick some more. There's a bit more over here that looks like I have to pick. There you go. Yeah. Um, so it's back up with the shadows. Now you'll see it's becoming a much more consistent shade of green. And I'll take the highlights down. Now I have to remember too that I want them to be this color. My mouse is not moving too quick today. And the highlights. Let's get them over here. And I go all the way down with the highlights. Uh, my cat is not very happy. You'll have to excuse her. So, now I'm going to open up the Ultra Key. It's the same as it was. Actually, I will just delete that Ultra Key. And I'll put a new one on. Uh, that helps to do that sometimes. So now there's a new Ultra Key. I'm going to go down and find the color picker. And it's a little bit better, but over here, I'm still not happy with that. But as you can see, it's much better, you know, around here. So I'll take my color gray off, where you can see me, and I'll run the clip. So there it is. I still got a bit of work to do in there, you know. Uh, so I could go back and work that out. But there's different, you know, I can also move my mask in. Uh, let's try that. Let's go back up to the mask. So, so move that in. Move that in a bit. Uh, and then I got to see if I'm going to lose any of my golf swing uh, with that mask being where it is. And you know, the, ma the, the swing happens so fast that kind of you can kind of get away with it. I'm losing a bit of my toupee up there, but. This is just an exercise. So, you know, I didn't make it with the, the uh, trying to correct my colors in here, but I compensated for it by moving the mask, you know? So I can even move this in a bit. Yeah, I'm, um, so, because I got the room, you know, and I scroll through the, well, it looks like I need to pull that out a bit. I need the head of the golf club, so. Well, that's why the Bezier tools are handy. You can, There you go. It's too bad about uh, that top business. I like to get more of the toupee in there, but okay, it's not bad. Not bad. And there you go. So now uh, I'm going to pause because something else I wanted to do is what, and what they had in the video is that they said you could use Illustrator. Um, files in here too. So what I'm going to try to do is import and then import an uh, Adobe Illustrator file. So I'm going to pause the screen capture and I'm going to set that up and I'll show you guys. I was thinking before that I'm going to do a quick scaling and animation exercise with uh, keyframes. So this Kapow right here, I'm going to, I want it to be there near the end, like that size near the end of, I want him to kapow it, I want him to hit, and then right around there, I want the full kapow to be in. 
Now, and, and I want it to go from very small to there. So, and I'm going to use the up and down keys to navigate to the beginning of that clip. Well, I have to have this selected. Okay. So that's too big for where it is. So what I'm going to do now is go up to the position and the scale. And I am going to move this down here. And I'm going to scale it down dramatically. Well, it looks like my keyframe recording has gone off. So I'll just keep it, I'll keep it off the screen for that matter. So where is he coming with this swing? He's coming in, he, the back swing, and boom, I kind of want, I kind of want it to start from there. So. Oh, I've lost it. Okay. So I can't find it now. Let me pause. Okay. So I found it again. Here it is. And I've got it going. So about right around here. It's going to be kapowing. So I'll say I'll end it about there. And that's where I want it full size. So. I'll record it. Recording in. This is where I want it. I'll want it like this. And then up here. Straight in the middle. You know, we're just having some fun here. So I don't got to go too crazy. So hopefully that rec it recorded my okay so I have to go back here to the beginning of this beginning of my clip I have to reduce the kapow to the size it was you know, a little tiny kapow and I have to go down here and across to where the golf ball would be now, let's see if that works. We'll go a bit before. Yeah. Okay. Except uh, it needs to come out a lot faster. So we're going to have to go from here. Say I want all those values. I'm going to um, change the scale it up. So I'm just scale all the movement I did, it's happening earlier. Okay, so and then we'll cut, we'll leave it there for a second or two and then out she uh out it goes. Boom, that's better. Okay. Except I don't like that stuff at the end. I'll have to uh I don't know what's happening with it. Why it Yeah, that stuff there. It's gotta go. Oh, this is just silliness, but just to uh, work with a bit of keyframes. And there's me. See it down in there? Still not working out that great with the green screen. There's me doing a cheesy move. And actually, that's long enough, I'd say. And they're right there. I'll do my right click. Oops. Do that. Apply my default transitions. Let's take one more run at that kapow. And then, uh, so that's a pretty good amount of effects. So lots of positioning, lots of scaling, some masking, the Lumetri color. That's a very ex excellent trick for poorly lit green screen. I highly recommend, you know, at least knowing that that's possible. And the ultra key. Now, I might be able to clean some of this up just to have, just to take us out 
I might take a, I might try to get rid of some of that um, on the left over here with the highlights and transparency, but that's not really working. How about the shadows? Ah, you see that? You see that? So there's a lot of ways beyond the lumetri color over here that I did. There's a whole host of tools in the ultra key tool. Uh, there's a lot more stuff I'd like to do, but I see this has already gone 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop and uh, hope everybody uh, learned something. Okay. Thank you.